Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This is a new one for me. I have bought jewelry jars before, but I usually open them on my own for fun for myself. <laughs> but I figured, because they are getting harder and harder to find, that I will share with you guys my openings. Now, here's the thing. I don't have many. They are very hard to come by in my area. And if you do find them, they're sometimes can be really expensive. So this won't be a regular thing, but I do have probably about eight or 10 of these between jars and bags. So I will space them out. Um, I will do one a week for December. This guy being the first, this is the smallest that I have. Um, so I will open this for you guys, but here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with what I find. If I like it, if I don't, I know some people get offended that, you know, if I say something that I don't like is ugly or, or tacky or whatever, that might be your cup of tea because the things I love, most people don't. <laughs> I have extremely tacky taste. So with that being said, please don't get offended if I don't like something. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say, oh, look how beautiful this ugly thing is. So I am not that channel. <laughs> if you want to see, you know, real life opening and 100% honest opinions, this is the channel for you then. All right. So like I said, I am going to do one every week of December. Um... This one, I haven't figured out what day it is yet. By the time you see this, you'll know what day it is. So I was thinking like Mondays, like Monday or Tuesday. I usually do a haul video on Sunday. I try to do them Sundays and Wednesdays. Uh, so maybe Freaky Friday. I don't know. I will figure it out by the time. I do, you'll, this will be up, so you'll know what day it is. All right, so we're going to open this guy up. I need a little more room. This light is all up in the business. Okay, so I hope everyone's doing well. Um, again, this is my first one. Please bear with me. Like I said before, we do not get these very often. So when I was able to get a few, I jumped on the chance and they were not cheap um but it's so hard to find any and to me this is like my relaxing time usually I sit down with a glass of tea I have or a glass of wine I have a, a sorter it's like this thing I got from Ikea it's like this but it's got different um compartments I put what I'm keeping what needs to be tested what I'm getting rid of what's sellable what's junk blah 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 <clears throat> So I'm going to share my find with you. All right. So first thing, oh, I got some earrings. I won't know. I don't have my magnet with me today, but I will have it for the next time. This again is the smallest one. Uh, these pretty gold earrings. These are actually pretty. I would not wear these because they are too small, um, but they are pretty. And they have like a little flower. Hold on. Let's see if I can. Oh, that's weird. That's kind of creepy. Cool. We got this blue and gold necklace. It is not marked. Probably more of a choker style. Not my style. It's me very 80, so that would be in the for sale pile. What's this? This is marked 925. This is really pretty. I don't, is that like a moonstone? I love the color. And that is marked 925 right there. We got this shell necklace. This is not my style at all it is not marked um oh it's a necklace and a bracelet i'm sorry it is pretty okay it is just not it, i think it would be great 
what is this, a blister pearls? I think it would be great in the summer for somebody. Um, so that's the bracelet with the matching necklace. And then we have, oh, earrings too, hold on. Matching earrings too. So there's a whole set here. Well, at least, oh yeah, there's, there's the earring. Here's the other earring. We got this guy, which looks, yep, this is 925. This is a toe ring. This is pearl and something. There's the other one. It's always nice, it's missing a, the hoop. This is just, let me see, is it glass? This is glass. It's okay. It's not my style. Um, ooh, hold on. This I like. These are marked 925 G and S. Um, so it's this bracelet which I'm not a huge fan of, but these I love, especially that one. That's very mid-century modern to me, Mary and Jesus and the cross. And again, these are both marked 925. And that one's got an S or a money sign. And then this one is marked 925 G and S. C95? I'm not sure. All right, I got a necklace here. And this is not marked, but it is very pretty. This one I do not hate. I think that is very pretty. I don't see any missing stones, but I see a couple that are kind of dark. Look at that guy. Uh, we got some red hoop earrings. Hold on. Too small for me. I'm going to throw those in the cell pile. Uh, these are cute. Too small for me. And these are really cute too, unfortunately. You guessed it, too small for me. And we got this, which is a, are they like, oh my, oh, my back is killing me. This cold is just making my whole body hurt. <clears throat> Looks kind of like turtles or um, steering, not steering wheels for a boat this is not my style this is not marked this is just costume in the first sale piled it goes this is pretty let's see if this one's marked this is I don't see any markings This I like. This is cute. Oh. Boop, boop. I like this. I'll keep that. Oh, here's the other earrings to those. Maybe I'll make a lot and put all the hoops in. If there's ever anything you're interested in and I said I would be selling, you can just email me through my link below. Um, I can either sell it to you directly or through Macari. This is pretty. Not my style. I would not wear this because I don't like stones. I like metal. 
so anything with a lot of stone unless it's copper or copper unless it is turquoise or coral i just i really just won't wear it it doesn't matter how pretty it is so we got that again forgive me this is my first one <laughs> this is sterling with some sort of carved onyx maybe and then we got these which are marked carol lee those are really cute those are really cute those are very chanel-esque um I don't know the best way. I think this is not the best way. All right, let's try. Let's see. Okay, I have an idea. Bear with me, folks. Okay, so we're going to move that down. And we're going to put this here. Because it shows better. And then we'll dump, dump that like that. Okay. i seen a ring fall out. really pretty with the baguettes. This doesn't look like it's gonna be silver. It's marked A. Uh, it says A925. But this looks to me like somebody tested it. And that's why there's all these black marks in it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is real silver. It is very, very pretty. It would be really pretty cleaned up. I will put this in the silver pile and have it checked. This is the other earring to the Carolee earrings. Here is a earring. This is sterling. Here is a ring that is marked. It is not marked. It has a ring guard on it. Um, it's really dirty inside, but I don't think it's real. But it's really cool. This is what it looks like inside. So, again, this is my first time. If there's things you want me to show, if you want me to show them longer, quicker, um, let me know. I don't think that's real, but it's still cool. We got this guy, which is not marked. Really cute. Looks like Betsy Johnson kind of deal. Everything's so tiny. Uh, we got some earrings. Let's see, we got these. Which are tad bit used. Um, some hoops. Let's see. This says Avon. These are actually really cute. I don't wear colors and the hoops are too small, but they are cute. These, yeah. Eh, you know. This is just a. I like the pendant. The necklace is crap. Um, it's black now. It would look good on a new necklace. I don't see that it's marked in any way, but still a cool piece. It has the Greek key on it, almost a bit Versace-esque. <gasps> Dang it. We got this guy. Oh, these are amazing. These are sterling. Oh, these are how cute. I hope there's another one. These are really cute. Those I would keep. This is... Oh, this is different. Okay, so it is this. Pearl and bead. It has KC. 
and this this is marked let's see I don't see any markings but I feel like it is um, whether or not the bracelet is or not oh wait what's this say China <laughs> no help uh, TR oh this is things remembered okay so maybe it's not what is and we got this guy this is sterling and marcasite again super tiny dirty i don't even have to look i know this is authentic i mean not authentic but 925 it does say 925 MD or MR inside. We got this guy, which could be Sterling. This is the other earring to that. This is a big old ball earring. Um, sorry, I gotta remember that I'm showing you, not me. <laughs> Pretty. This is super long. This is, I don't know, to me it looks like oil slick. I don't know what that's called. Um, it is marked... premium design okay sorry about that uh so yeah so this is it's all right it's not something i would wear so that's gonna go in the for sale pile so i'll take out the nicer sellable stuff and then i'll put the rest of the stuff in like a lot of um what i've been doing is when i go through myself you know i put the gold and silver and you know the stuff that i like to the side I put the really nice wearable stuff to the side and then the rest of the stuff I put into boxes and just sell big huge boxes of junk jewelry all right this says Trixie hot pink I don't know a Trixie so that will go <laughs> uh we have some blue hoops you want me the whole thing because then I can find the matches. Maybe not. All right, so we have this earring, which is very pretty with looks like marcasite and onyx. And I'm gonna take a guess that this is 925 marked MD. Don't know what that means. These are cool, these are. Rhine, vintage rhinestone clip-ons. Um, that's a different, I've never seen that kind of clip-on. These are not my style. They have a little bit of yellowing to them. To me, I would consider these junk. Maybe worth taking the rhinestones out and using them for something else. But again, this is just my opinion and everyone is entitled to their own these are really cute i wouldn't wear these because they are too small um, but these are very cute i will give them cute cute award <laughs> this is completely not my style uh these are glass they're pretty i mean i do appreciate a nice bead but i don't wear them so this would be for sale. This, we got some tangled, tangled up stuff, of course, because that's what to expect in these jewelry jars. Now, I see some of you guys get these jewelry jars and find the most amazing stuff. Um, very, this is, I okay, so these are three of these. I really like this color. This, is, to me, is a Barbie pink. <sighs> okay, so here's my problem, right? 
I tend to stick, I love this. I think this would look amazing with a nice tan. I really, really do like these. However, I would never, I would never wear them. I tend to stick with solid metals, like gold color or silver color, but it's really pretty. All right, this is cold. I don't know what it is. Is it white onyx? Is it white turquoise? I don't know. Has a feather. They are definitely cold to the touch. And this little green thing here. Uh, oh, this is pretty. Okay, so now I love this color combo and I love this muted. I love muted um, gold. Who is this? This is, oh, that's very fancy. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This says 925 Italy. I don't know what that says. H R L R I I R. Anybody know what that is? It says 925. I really like this. This is a keeper. I love, what is it? Like muted or like, um, What's the lipstick that I can't think? I can't think. My brain goes blank. But I really like this. I have no idea, though, what that stands for. Okay, we have another ring. This one is marked... C-something, 925-CZ. To me, I don't think this is real because the way it looks, but I could be wrong. We'll have to test it, and if it is, we'll clean this up. Could you imagine? Ooh, wait, that's a big old ring. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got some hoops. Okay, so we've seen the green hoops. This must have been like a set seen the green hoop that was in there and then we got blue and red these again i really like these but they are just too small for me they'd be good in like my second hole third hole but here's another pair of red i don't think they're marked anything other than like i said avon um we got some blue hoops uh, a blue hoop We got this necklace. Let's see what this is. Do, do, do. I feel like this is Betsy Johnson. Let me, let me look. Betsy Johnson. Yep. Betsy Johnson. And it's this long gold chain. Like, uh, you know, like a pole chain. <laughs> uh, with a key. Or with a key. With an arrow and a ring. And this heart that doesn't stay closed. It's missing its little... Oh, so, okay. The ring goes in there. Cute! I could try to fix that. See if I can find a little magnet. We'll put to that to the, to the maybe side. We got a pair of dirty hoops. Uncleanable, unfixable. Goodbye. We have, oh, you know what? Do these, maybe? No. These are pretty. These are very, to me, these are very boho, mystical. Um, these are very pretty. I probably put these aside for my friend Cheryl. Those look like her alley. We got, oh, here's the other earring. This is cold to the touch. And it is not marked. Uh, maybe these are glass. I mean, these would be pretty for like... They're not terrible. I think, to me, they're too used. This definitely not my style. 
but I would either sell those. And again, what I don't sell, I think I'm just going to take to our local um, dry cleaners, take donations for jewelry and dresses for prom for kids who can't afford it. So I might just take some of this stuff there because this looks like stuff, promy stuff like these, you know, that kind of thing. This is not marked at all. Wait, is it? It is. I can't see. Maybe it's not marked. Maybe it's just, um, it's not marked. It's just piece, you know, like dents in it. So next one, for sure, I will have a magnet <laughs> and my loop. Okay, so this is cool. This is not marked. This is not something I would wear. It has a really pretty glass beads. This looks like lava rock, crystals. Oops. And this is the... clasp this magnetic clasp um, we got this guy love him kind of creeps me out with that whole uh what's that phobia <laughs> the holes oh i hate it oh you know what this is it's a mood ring cute just you know one of the mill claire's kind of jewelry this is heavy this is pretty this is marked it says blessed cold definitely some sort of stone with a little i don't know maybe there was something hanging off of it let's see a little cross, I think. Cute. Not my style. Uh, this is a cool bead. Looks like a chestnut. Okay, we got a two for here. We got an earring. That is my style. Almost big enough. Still kind of small. Uh, one of my girlfriends would like these, though. So these I'll probably put to the side for them. Almost big enough for me. <laughs> and then this necklace that is not marked. I don't like it. I don't like this dark metal. Almost looks dirty. Some people like the gun metal. It can be edgy depending what you wear with it. Um, I could not pull it off, nor would I try, so that goes over there. Oh. We got this. This is cool. What's this? Here's the other blue earring. Oh, oh, oh. We're not ready for you yet. Ew, this is gross. Okay, so I wouldn't even sell this. It is so worn and tarnished. It was cool. But not anymore. Just kind of junk jewelry. Uh, this guy jumped in my thing here. We have the other earring. We have this earring. It is marked Monet. Cute. Would be cute for the prom kids. This, I'm guessing, is alpaca. And this is cute. This is. Wait a minute. Nine two five Italy. This is really cute. A hundred percent will be keeping this. Love, love, love that. That is really dainty and cute. I love that. Definitely keeping that. This, these are pretty. 
these I'll put away for my friends. Um, I usually bring a bunch of stuff over to them too and be like, take what you want. A little stretch ring. I don't do these at all, um, but it's cute. Let's see, did we do, yeah, we got this one already. We got these, those I'm gonna put aside. Um, here's another one of those Avon earrings. So I will tell you, I paid about, let me see, it was, I paid about 30 something dollars per, 30 to 40 dollars per jar. So we will see if I got my money's worth. This is the smallest jar. Um, all right, so this is going to take a second here. Uh, so tell me guys, what's the best thing you found in a jewelry jar before? I have never found anything super crazy. You know, a little bit of gold here, a little bit of gold there. Uh, I found a gold, um, what do you call it? Gold, nice gold bracelet the one time, but that was years ago when Goodwill, Goodwill used to do them. They don't do them anymore. Um, you cannot get them. So, unfortunately, again, like I said, they're very limited. All right, so what we can see here is this is 925 by that same brand, LHR, HLR, and it's this really nice chain with this cross, which is very cool. And then we have... I'm just going to have to show you as is because I cannot get these undone. We got another one. I don't know if there's two necklaces here or three. Um, but we got another one by that same brand. LHR 925. And there's this guy. This owl with that owl. And then this pin, safety pin. So I don't know if this is three necklaces total or just two because it's just a, a clump. So, ooh. <laughs> but very nice silver. We have this guy. This definitely... Oh, it's a face! Oh my God, it's one of those faces from... Uh, this is YMK? BMK? OMG... I love that. Oh my god, that's so creepy. I love it. Oh, is there a match? Oh, please be a match. Please be a match. Wait. Oh, I don't see it yet. But I do see this one. Yay! We got this guy, which is... I can't... I don't see any markings to me. This just looks costume. But we'll put it to the side just in case... Oh, I really hope that moon face guy is in here. This is marked 925. 925 something. Looks like it says raisin. Um, we got this, which is what is marked? I don't see any markings, but I feel like this could be sterling, very old. Maybe, maybe not. We'll try. I know, I know, I need a magnet and I need a, a loop and I will have those next time, I promise. These are really pretty. One of my friends got those. Again, just not big enough. This is, looks like one of those little Avon rings. Not marked. I can tell this isn't real. But, you know, I'll double check. <laughs> uh, this one. <gasps> Stop it. Stop it. This is a C ring. Christy. And it says 10 karat gold filled. 10 karat gold filled. 
gold filled. Must have been sized. Oh, are you kidding? I can't even get it on my pinky. Uh, hang on. No, I can't even wear it as a midi ring. What the heck? Who had these? Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Ooh. Oh, no. It's super tight. <laughs> like, oh, God. Oh, no. <gasps> okay. Let's just. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> This is just a ring. Let's see, is it a... Oh, it's a mood ring. Um, oh, please have the other earring. This is a Zapata neck earring. This is the front. This is the back. This is the other earring. Oh. I mean, like, this is almost big enough for me. I might. We'll see. But if not, my friends will like those. This is a little pearl. We got these are sterling. Little, um, mother of pearl. This is just a little earring, not gold match oh no i don't see the face <laughs> i am so sad oh i would have loved those i'm not seeing the face what a bummer these ones uh, this is sterling Uh, this is the one that I wasn't sure of, the other piece. This one we saw already. This this one we saw already, but not this one. We saw the carved, whatever that is. And this is just costume. Oh, I'm super bummed. No face. But you know what I could do is I could take that face and make it a, uh, make it a charm for a necklace. These are marked LC. These are Liz Claiborne. Cute little blue earrings. These are... These are not marked, I don't think. But these are cute. Got the pair of those. And last, another pearl earring. And then the rest of this is just all something that broke. <gasps> oh, I'm so sad about that. But... For the price we paid, I think we did okay. Um, this pile right here is all silver. So, not a bad find. My favorite things are this necklace and, oh, and this heart necklace. And obviously, that little face guy, but he's only one, so I'm going to have to... Make them in, oh, I love these earrings, too. They're not very big, but I might still have to keep those. Where's my face? Where's the face? Oh, I don't see him. Oh, well, he's in there somewhere. Well, thank you for sticking around with me. And again, I will be doing one of these a week. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please hit the thumbs up button so that I know to keep making these. I feel like my haul videos aren't doing that great anymore. I don't know if people are sick of seeing them or what the case is. But I've noticed it a lot on YouTube lately. Even some of my favorite people, their views are just going down and down. And I'm not really sure what's going on. But please, you know, like and comment so that I know to keep making these and 
keeps me energized <laughs> and excited about this stuff. Uh, let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys Quick next Quick update. I was able to find out the maker of all of these necklaces, and it is Lisa Robinson. This is turquoise, and this is, it says satin. And this necklace retailed for $139. I haven't looked up the other ones yet, but that's what this... That's what that is. Lisa Roberts.